now I would like to introduce you to a very old patient of mine. Uh, she is Ragini and she comes all the way from Ranchi uh, to get a treatment done from us. Uh, I had met her some three years ago and uh, uh, through her I, can, I will be able to introduce you to a branch of dentistry which is called oral and maxillofacial surgery which is basically my specialization. Uh, now Ragini had reported to us uh, in the year 2011 uh, with, a, with a cystic swelling in her jaw. Uh, she gave a history of previous surgery which was done at another hospital in 2005 and uh, when I went through her reports I could see that the diagnosis was odontogenic keratocyst uh, for which uh, a surgery was done in 2005 and now she had reported to us with a, ref with a recurrence. Uh, she had gone to that previous hospital again and it was suggested to her that they would uh, remove uh, that side of her jaw which was having the cyst but then we sat down and we decided and uh, we kept all the factors into consideration that she's, she was hardly 30, 30, 31 years of age at that time and losing a jaw especially for a cystic condition which is not a malignant uh, disease uh, would be quite traumatic for, for, the, for the patient of this age. So, based on all the X-ray and CT findings and her clinical status, we had decided that rather than taking out her jaw, we would just take out the cyst and uh, the, that would really serve the purpose and uh, uh, save her from a lot of mental trauma as well as uh, physical, uh, uh, this thing, uh, physical disability. So, now she reports to us uh, after two years uh, the surgery has been already been done and uh, most of her functions are quite normal. Uh, as you can see, Raghun, open your mouth. Yeah, my mouth opening is pretty much fine. Uh, so, as you can see now in uh, her, uh, first of all, Raghun, uh, move on. First of all, you can see that since we have avoided removing the complete jaw, there is a very, the, her natural contour of the face still remains, there are no extra oral scars or anything like that and her mouth opening is pretty much okay. We did the surgery on the right side of the lower jaw so some of the teeth of this region are missing for which we are planning the uh, rehabilitation. We will probably put two or three implants here and give her a fixed prosthesis and as you can see the intraoral healing is quite fine. Uh, there is no problem as such. Uh, Ragini, hmm. you have any pain in the food? No, no. There is no pain, there is no pain. No, I'm very fine. You are very fine. Hmm. Are you happy that we made the decision that we have to save your jaw? Yes, yes, I'm very happy. I'm very happy with our decision. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, you must remember that when we had decided regarding her further management, uh, I had very clearly told her that uh, since odontogenic keratosis, which by the way is in a, a previous terminology, uh, rotogenic keratocyst has now been uh, is now called as a tumor. It is known as a, a KCOT, keratocystic odontogenic tumor, because it was always said that uh, that cyst behaves more like a tumor, which is actually true. And we had discussed all these complications with her. And the main thing about recurrence, uh, we already discussed, and even Ragini had given uh, given us her inputs. She said that uh, she is ready to live with it. She can she can she can uh, undergo another surgery if required. Uh, I hope to God that we do not have to operate again, but the possibility of recurrence was explained to her. But uh, whether going or going in for another surgery uh, at a later stage, which was quite speculative, as compared to losing her jaw at this age and uh, all the physical uh, disability that comes along with it. So uh, we sat down and we sort of formulated a plan and ultimately we had agreed that uh, it was worth the effort to do a more conservative surgery as of now and then we'll of course we'll keep her on subsequent follow-up it's already been almost a year year and a half now since she has been coming to us and everything is quite fine and uh, now she's flying back to Kenya where she originally hails from uh, in fact she's living today night itself and uh, wish you all the best Ragni thank you and we'll keep in touch Hmm? Yes, sir. and I have told you already all the symptoms that you have to take care of. Yes, yes. So the moment you have any problem, uh, you can contact me over the mail or you can call me and yeah, probably yeah. you can get the X-rays done there itself and you can send them to me. Okay. And as and when required, I'll let you know when you have to come or when you don't okay, have to come. Sir, okay. Right? Thank you. So, uh, viewers, this was a small 
uh, representation of what we can do as oral and maxillofacial surgeons. Um, oral cysts, tumors of the jaws, they are some of the surgeries that we do. We even take care of facial trauma, uh, patients who have undergone some accidents or uh, uh, some, some assault or something like that and have broken jaws or broken teeth, uh, we can take care of that plus any oral malignancies like oral cancers that we take care of but plus corrective jaw surgery is a very big part of oral maxillofacial surgery uh, patients who have either got very big jaws or very small jaws which causes a overall effect on their on the look on the on the look of their face uh, we can do all those changes we can we can we can advance the jaws we can reduce the jaws we can increase them vertically we can decrease them vertically in all dimensions we can do those surgeries to make the look uh, to make the patient look not only cosmetically better but also perform functionally better so thank you very much for for viewing uh, and uh, hope it has increased any knowledge again i would like to say if you have any queries you can always contact us we are always there to solve any issues or any any problems that you have